భారీ స్థాయిలో ఉద్యోగ ఉపాధి అవకాశాలు కల్పించనున్నట్లు మంత్రి నిర్మలా సీతారామన్ తెలిపారు ఇవాళ లోక్సభలో ఆమె రెండు వేల ఇరవై రెండు ఇరవై మూడు బడ్జెట్ చదువుతూ అరవై లక్షల ఉద్యోగాలు సృష్టించడమే ప్రభుత్వ టార్గెట్ అని ఆమె తెలిపారు speedy implementation of the vaccination program and the nationwide resilient response to the current wave of the pandemic are evident for all the productivity linked incentive in 14 sectors for achieving the vision of atmanirbhar bharat has received excellent response with potential to create 60 lakh new jobs and an additional production of 30 lakh crore during next 5 years towards implementation of the new public sector enterprise policy the strategic transfer of ownership of air india has been completed the strategic partner the strategic partner for neelanchal ispat nigam limited has been selected the public issue of the lic is expected shortly others too are in the process of for 2022 23 the national bank for the national bank for infrastructure development and national asset reconstruction company have commenced their activities honorable speaker sir budget 2021 22 had provided a sharp increase in provision for public investment or capital expenditure. Throughout the year, with the Honorable Prime Minister guiding the implementation, our economic recovery is continuing to benefit from the multiplier effect. This budget continues to provide impetus for growth. It lays a parallel track of, one, a blueprint for the Amrit Kaal, which is futuristic and inclusive. This will directly benefit our youth, women, farmers, the scheduled caste, and the scheduled tribes. And number two, big private public investment. Number two, big public investment for modern infrastructure, readying for India at 100. This shall be guided by PM Gati Shakti and be benefited by the synergy of multimodal approach. Moving forward on this parallel track, we lay the following four priorities. PM Gati Shakti, inclusive development, productivity enhancement and investment, sunrise opportunities, energy transition, and climate action, and four, financing of investments. PM Gati Shakti. PM Gati Shakti is a transformative approach for economic growth and sustainable development. The approach is driven by seven engines, namely roads, railways, airports, ports, mass transport, waterways, and logistics infrastructure. All seven engines will pull forward the economy in unison. These engines are supported by the complementary roles of energy transmission, IT communication, bulk water and sewerage, and social infrastructure. Finally, the approach is powered by clean energy and sabka prayas. The efforts of the central government, the state governments, and the private sector together, leading to a huge job and entrepreneurial opportunities, opportunities for all, especially the youth. <laughs>